morning everyone how's everybody doing today um oh you guys <laughs> uh, I'm telling you trials and tribulations eh It's alright though. New beginnings. Right? And uh, this morning I just, um, I um, wanted to talk about, you know, to people who are not doing the right thing including my children, unfortunately. Um, look, I'll tell you, you know what my secret is though? It's my Father God, really, really. And doing the right thing. Okay. Having a good heart. And a good soul. And loving unconditionally. Yeah man. Doing the right thing. For me. Doing the right thing for people. You know. And uh. When people don't do the right thing, me and father have to intervene. Okay? So you're being shown that you're, you're doing the wrong thing, okay? That means, you know, you're not going to get what you want. Okay? Um, things are going to slow way down. Alright? It depends, you know, to which extent you took it. You could get sick. Your life could fall the fuck apart completely. You know, that's because he's showing you what you, you're on the wrong path. You're not doing the right thing. You need to wake the fuck up. Okay? Confirmation with the train horn. You never fail, Father. Eh? <laughs> he doesn't, though. He doesn't. <clears throat> Okay, so you guys, when this starts happening there, you've done the wrong thing. You have to deal with my father and make it right. And if you don't make it right, your whole life's going to be the way it is now. And we'll continue getting worse. You need to snap out of the 3D, you guys. I'm not just talking about my children. I'm talking to all the other ones. Who are on the wrong path. That are not with my father. You know. Then you know. I'm here to help you. You know that right. Maybe you don't. But now you do. I'm here to put you on the right path. I'm here to wake you the fuck up. And put you back on the right path. So you can succeed. So you can have what you want. You know. But you got to do the right thing. 
Because by not doing the right thing, you're not getting anywhere. You're going in a fucking vicious circle, you know, constantly. You need to snap out of that. Why don't you try it? Try doing the right thing out of your heart. Okay? What you gotta lose? You're losing everything now. Right? Try it. Talk to my father. Ask for forgiveness. Ask him to help you. Ask him to help you change for the better. Set good intentions. Not only for you, for the people... Um, you know, that have good intentions for you that are around you. You know what I'm saying? Talk to my father. What you gotta lose, though? Yeah, you gotta put in a lot of fucking work. But you know what? I started at the bottom of the ladder. I did. I did. I didn't always do the right thing in my lifetime. I paid for that. I paid karma for that. They were minor things, you know, but I paid for them. That karma will always bite you in the ass, you know. But yeah, there's things I've done that weren't right. Like I said, they were minor things, but they were still things that weren't right. You know, like, you know where I'm coming from with this? I'm not saying you have to be 100% perfect. What I'm saying is that you can make mistakes. I've made mistakes. I'm not perfect. But, you know, you can always get better. You can always fix that. You can always, you know, you, you've got to, you have to try, right? You have to put yourself into it. You have, you know, for me, I do the right thing. Excuse me. There it goes. Doesn't mean I won't make any mistakes. But all the time, I do my very best to do the right thing. I analyze things sometimes too, and I, it's important. And I question things. These are all important parts of it, right? You gotta start somewhere, okay? But you know, you gotta start with you. Excuse me, confirmation again. You gotta start with you, honey. What's best for you? What's best for you? I want you to sit there and I want you to think about what is best for you physically, emotionally, and mentally. Sit down. I want you to think about it. I want you to write it down. Okay? One step at a time. Okay? What's best for you? What environment is best for you? You know? What work is best for you? What kind of people are best for you? What kind of health, you know, measures are, are good for you? Right? You need to start that healing, man. You need to really 
dig into yourself and it's gonna be dark it's gonna be dark all these you know memories of what happened to you and what people did to you and how bad they treated you stop doing it to others stop doing it to others don't you see You need to heal that. And you're like, well, how do I heal it? Like I said, you need to dig inside yourself and you need to take these memories and face them. Cry it out. Release them. Write them on a piece of paper and burn them. You know, most of what happens to us, no, no, I, I gotta say, it's not your fault. So why are you hanging on to it? Why are you hanging on to it? Right? It's fucking destroying, it's destroying you. It's putting you on the wrong path. That's not what my father wants. That's not what he wants to see. But if you continue being on the wrong path, he'll definitely keep teaching you a lesson or two or three. And I will be too. I, I, this is my father we're talking about. My father. My bloodline. I'm going to be there with him to teach you too. That's, that's what I do. I can be a lesson. <laughs> that for sure. You know, I can be a blessing too. You guys, you know, it, you have choices to do the right thing. You have, no, you have a choice to make the right thing. To do the right thing. Make the right choice, sorry, this morning. Not enough coffee yet. You know, and I mean, since... Doing the wrong thing is not getting you anywhere. You might want to think about what I just talked to you about. And changing things for the better. It's going to change. You know, once you... The thing that you guys don't understand is once you start healing, facing things, yeah. Facing things, dealing with things that happened to you, your traumas and everything, and letting them go, you're going to feel lighter. You're going to start feeling relief. And you'll be able to start the healing process. Okay? And stop meddling with the dark magic. What the fuck is wrong with you people? This will bring you horrible fucking karma. Really bad karma. <clears throat> okay? I don't meddle with that shit. What I have coming is called Dharma. It's good karma. Because I do the right thing. And Father rewards me for it. Mm -hmm. and you're like well you're on YouTube you know you're doing all these videos for free and yeah I am I am I'm here to help I'm here to help change 
you for the better, change your life for the better. There's no, you know, cost for that. There's no amount of money to put on that. Mm -mm. Hey, Father. He says, that's right. He's here to help you. He's there for you. I promise you. And he will forgive you. But you gotta make it right. But yeah, once you start healing and all that, everything around you, is, your energy is going to change and everything, your energy is going to affect everything around you, like the energies around you affects you too. So you, that's why you got to be careful, but your energy inside of you is going to change because you start healing, right? And that's positive. That's positive. When Father sees that you're making efforts to change your ways and change your life, He's going to be right beside you. The angels, the ancestors are going to have your back. They're going to be there to support you and help you transition every step of the way. They're with me every step of the way. How do you think I got here? Excuse me, confirmation again. I definitely got here with my own will, that for sure. But you know, I couldn't have done this all on my own. His father. His father God. He's my father God. My archangels and my ancestors. But you really got to try making an effort. Otherwise, you'll have no backing. If you meddle in that crappy-ass, dark witchery shit, you have no backing. Your own ancestors are going to go against you. If you're coming for a chosen one like me, or any of the chosen ones, your ass will be grass. That's going to be your lesson. Father won't let you. We work for him. We work for Father God. Okay? So. So I'm trying to tell you people. Come on now. Time to snap out of it. Time for the awakenings. Hey, Father. Yes, yes. You guys, you're so miserable with your lives. You're so miserable with your lives. I can feel it. You're miserable as fuck. You're not happy. What the fuck are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Nobody else is going to make you happy. Happiness is not... Yes, things affect happiness, you know, people around you and where you live and all this. But, you know, real happiness is inside of your heart. Is contentment and happiness with yourself and love for yourself. That's what it is, babies. I found that out. I mean, even though my heart's happy and everything, yeah, like, like I live in this corrupted fucking building, you know, it's gonna affect me. The energies, it, demonic energies will affect me, right? I'm not supposed to be here now. Okay? But yes, I do have happiness and love in my heart. I do, and they fucking dread it. 
That's the way it is. Deal with it. It's who I am. <laughs> but, you know, I see them being so miserable. Yeah. You know, and uh, demonic attachments are real. You, you guys need to deal with that. Okay. Cleanse yourselves. Salt baths. Cleanse your homes. Get rid of the people in your life that are not there to support you. It goes beyond that, but anyway. It's a good start. Work on yourself. And don't forgive my father. Once he sees you, you ask for forgiveness and you give him your life, he will be there for you. I promise you. I promise you. That's out of my mouth. Hey, father? Yes. You know, us as uh, chosen ones, earth angels, star seeds, we don't like seeing bad things happen to people. You know, but we, we're being attacked for nothing. We haven't done anything f fucking wrong. You know what I'm saying here? And we work for Father God. That you believe it or not, you, you probably should by now, though. That's my piece of advice to you. But I thought, no, Father put me on this morning, so. It's time to wake up now. Okay. As I speak it, so it is, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. That was Father guiding me to say that. And no, you know, once you start that process, don't ever think you're, you'll be alone, because you'll never be alone. You'll always have backup. Unless you're doing the wrong thing. And you have no backup. Alright, you guys. You know what I... I, um... I'm sending you healing... And I'm sending love out your way. And I'm talking to Father, you know, to help guide you. I'm praying to Father to help guide you to the right way of doing things. I am. Um, And you'll say, why would you do that? Because I'm a pure-hearted person. I don't hate you. I don't. I was hurt, yes. But. I go through my healing processes. Right? And I release. I face them and I release them. I'm not mad either. I forgive you. Yeah, someday maybe it's going to be you that's going to be that way. If you start doing the work. 
there's always hope. <laughs> I was thought that when it comes to my father, there's always hope. Always. But you know, you can't expect him to give you everything if you're not doing any work. You know? Right? Right. We're his children, right? We get rewarded when we do the right thing. <laughs> It sounds really funny the way I said it, but it's the truth. We get rewarded for doing good things, good deeds, being pure-hearted people and pure-souled, and helping others. We get rewards for that. You know, there, there's really... <clears throat> there's... Uh, there's absolutely no fucking need for that bullshit dark magic that you people are doing. There isn't. There's no rewards in that except your fucking whole life crashing on your ass. Right? Yeah, start again with that. Reminder, I guess, fucking two or three times I said it by now. But it's the truth. Where's your fucking reward? You've you've got nothing out of that except what laughing for two minutes. Excuse me. At the expense of innocent ones. Ooh. Mm 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 mm. Right. That's not okay. Excuse me. That's not okay. That's not being kind. That's not being a good person. Reminder. Okay, you guys. I'm going to scoot. I'm going to go finish my coffee. I have breakfast that i got to make. It's going to be another busy day today. But yes, I'm sending you healing. I'm sending you love. And I'm sending you light. Father God's light. For you to see it. Open your eyes. Awaken. Okay. I'll be back really soon because I always come back. My father always makes sure I come back. I have a job to do and it's an important one. And I will always be protected and I will always come back. So, <clears throat> Soon enough, I'll be back on again. All right, ciao for now.